Today I'm going to build this LM317 based linear step down regulator, but it's no ordinary kit build. Today I'm going for the title. Simple Electronics and Junk From Work have already gone head to head. I will link to their videos below. And then Junk From Work subsequently did another redo on his own, and he beat his own record less than 11 minutes. And I think I have everything set up here. We have to do this in one take with a timer, and I'm not a one take kind of filmer. In fact, there's probably been 10 cuts already in me just saying this intro. So this is going to be an extra challenge for me. But I think I have everything here. Stuff for soldering, stuff for assembling the screws, good cutters and older cutters so I can cut thicker or thinner leads. I believe the test voltage was around 12.2 for the input to the circuit. So I have that on standby. And if I remember the rules correctly, we get maybe up to two minutes to just lay the parts out and maybe make sure we have everything. And then we just go and there's a knob for the potentiometer here. Once we get this knob put on the pot, time's up. And of course the thing has to work in the end. So let's move some of this stuff out of the way and get the kit dumped out and see if it looks like we have everything we need. I don't know how they fit all this stuff into the small bags. Okay. Speaker terminals for the output. And I remember this is actually wired backwards. So red is negative, black is positive. I'll have to keep that in mind. Let's see, heat sink. I just wanna see that it looks like we have everything. Diodes for a bridge rectifier, couple of resistors. I seem to have an exact quantity of resistors. Those other guys had extra parts. So we have an LED, a PTC fuse, screw terminal for the input, transistor, I think that was NPN. Okay, so I think that looks like everything we need. So let's start the clock. I don't know where to begin. Okay, well, go. Okay, uh, resistors. Let's go with the lowest lying parts. 104. Why am I shaking? I can't insert the parts. And uh, this is 104 as well. Where does that go? right here. These leads are also very thin, so it's hard to work with. They're bending on me. Uh, 10 micro, I guess this is it. <laughs> this is so difficult. Uh, should I start soldering that? Why not? Okay. Maybe I should just not talk. Oh, and by the way, I think uh, appearance doesn't matter as long as it works, and that's going to be very helpful. Diodes next.
Why is this so difficult? This is the sloppiest work I've ever done, too. Oh my god, come on. Ah. I would not do well on live television. Oh my god, what did I do? Okay, now, this is so stressful. Oh, I don't know, LED? Negative, should be here. I don't care if parts are crooked. Ugh. Come on. <laughs> Melt, thank you. Wired leads are going everywhere. I don't know what I'm doing. There's another diode here. Ugh. Oh, that footprint. Okay, I think I'm going to have to cornrow this diode. The leads are too close together on the footprint. Resistors, uh, 220 ohm, and that looks close together as well. Now, I see, these are these damn blue ones that you can't read, but I see red, red, or else it's brown, brown. I don't know, I'm going with it. is happening here. The solder was going all over the tip and not on the pad. Okay, there's one more resistor. Where's that? Okay, that one is the normal axial layout. Ah, the leads are bending because they're so thin and I can't line them up. Okay. I'm glad this is a relatively tiny board. I have no idea if the camera's in focus. I don't work like this. <laughs> okay, uh, transistor. Where does this go? Uh, right here. Ah. That holds itself in place. I don't have to do any lead bending. I feel like I'm making my first ever video where I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making a mess. I don't know. Ah, just cut the leads. Uh. Uh, PTC, fuse, F-U, yeah. Uh, come on. This is harder than it looks on television. I'm trying to do this so fast. See if I can get this thing aligned. Then continue tightening it.
Did I cause a short? I don't think so. So those thicker leads are why I want my other older cutters. Okay. Two capacitors. Negative. Negative. Come on. Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> I should use more heat. This is like a struggle. Come on. Oh my God. I have a feeling I'm not going to to win. Okay, how do I hold this down? Tape? I always have tape hanging off the end of the desk. Ah. Come on! And I think I see a couple of things that weren't soldered here. What the hell? What's next? Uh, the pot? Uh, go in! Switch! Ah. Come on! What is happening? Whoa! How did that PTC go so crooked? Oh, we're gonna have a laugh at this after. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. This is a disaster, but... Yeah, presentation doesn't count. Let's just get this on. Uh. Yeah, I think I've already lost the competition. Urgh. We shouldn't even be putting this screw terminal, speaker terminal on. It doesn't even do the right thing. Come on! Just go! Pot knob. And time. Yeah, 11 minutes and 6 seconds. Oh, I lost. <laughs> and this looks awful. Oh my god. <laughs> this isn't laying flat. Uh, yeah, there's the PTC went really crooked in there. It was overlapping where this switch goes. <sighs> okay, well, <laughs> we still have to see if it works. So... Uh, yeah, am I, uh, really done? And the camera's not cooperating. Okay, so is there a... We have a bridge rectifier, so there's no polarity on the input. These are horrible screw terminals. Oh man, the whole thing just went crooked. <laughs> I don't even... Oh. Okay, I think that won't short. Oh man. Ah, I didn't open it enough. Okay. It's still not taking... Oh my god. Good thing setup of this terminal wasn't part of the race. Okay. All right. Finally. 
uh, how do I hook up to the output? Well, uh, alligator clips on the bottom since those terminals aren't even any good. But there's good contact point right there. So the one that's going to the black terminal should actually be positive. So I'll put that correctly on there. Turn the pot all the way down. Now this should go, I believe, from about 1.25 or so up to with 12.2. I think they were getting like 9.4, 9.5 volts. So let's see. Okay, 9.9 .9 right now. Okay, so on minimum, I got 1.279. And I turn this up. Yeah, I can get 9.9 .9 volts out of this with 12.2 in. I don't know if we can see that. So it works. It's ugly. It's hideous. It stressed me out. And I didn't win, but it's done. <laughs> Let me disconnect this before I short something out. So I'll probably maybe clean this up a bit. This rocker switch is sideways as well as this terminal. And yeah, the PTC could use some work. Um, but yeah, I guess it does work. I don't, uh, I don't know why they wired the negative and positive on the output backwards. Yeah, I think it'll be a while before I try a speed assembly anymore. But it was fun. I think I lost by about up to half a minute. Okay, well, if you want to check out the original head-to-head -head between Simple Electronics and Junk From Work, check out the links below. See you in the next video.